Welcome back, everybody, to Tribune Unscripted. And I know you may still be getting your Halloween costume ready this week, but Santa's hanging out in the house today. Welcome, Santa. What are you doing in town this early? Well, I'm here as a special guest for the Trustful Tribune, of course. Well, we appreciate it. Absolutely. Make the trip just for you guys. Well, Very important. what's going on this year? Well, I'm hoping a lot more is going to be going on as things kind of open up as we keep using that term. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of wonderful special events that are mostly private events. A lot of the corporate events that we're normally used to uh, having me at uh, are not happening. So we're having to rearrange, do things differently and waiting for other kind of invitations to happen. So this is one, one of those such events. So very proud to be here. How are y'all? How are you handling like in, in the COVID pandemic? How are you handling interaction with kids and things like that this year? Well, there are several ways that we're, ha we're handling it. Uh, there are a few of the regular entities. Uh, there's one specific mall uh, and uh, I think Bass Pro Shop is still having Santa and they're, they're, we're doing sets that have plexiglass between Santa and the kids such as I believe Bass Pro Shop will have a plexiglass wall in front mm -hmm. of their normal situation where the children will sit in front, a bench in front of that plexiglass and right. we can do pictures. Uh, at uh, the Galleria, I believe we're going to have a sleigh or the wall, one or two, but some situations are having a sleigh where they have a, a two-seat sleigh and there's a plexiglass wall between seat one and seat two and Santa's behind and making pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the uh, other malls around the country are actually putting Santa in a snow globe. <laughs> 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 Which I think is kind of claustrophobic <laughs> myself. But uh, there's ways to do that. Uh, as I've already made some pictures, we're, we're socially distancing by standing behind children on the regular set. So I'm uh, off to the side or behind. And we're, you know, kind of doing virtual hugs around them, things like that. So there's ways that we're, we're making it happen. Well, it, it's an important time of the year. Why do you think it's important for people to try to maintain some normalness when it comes in to these traditions for well, kids? Well, of all the things that have gone away, uh, and, and they've been going away, you know, month by month. Right. I think it's very important that we have some things that come back month by month. And as people get to these ha Halloween season, Thanksgiving mm -hmm. season, it's time to get with families and have events that we're used to having gatherings. I think it's very important that we, we figure out a way to make that happen. Uh, there's a lot of news media out there talking about the, the, the mental effect that it has on people, and we know that it does, you know. Right. Uh, I'm upset that I won't get to see as many boys and girls. Many times during the month of November, I, I see four or 5,000 children during that time by going to schools and daycares and things like that, which won't happen. So being able to get out and do things to help uplift people, motivate them that things will get better, things are going to return to normal. So any, anything that Santa can do to be that, that bright spot, and we're at the end of the year, so as, as they're getting, getting closer to December, we're hoping more and more situations like that will occur so that Santa can be seen and lift the spirits of everybody. Well, you may not have known this, but Santa actually kind of has an agent helper that oh, helps, oh, oh. helps arrange your schedule, so yes, to speak. Yes, Tell yes. people how to get in touch with him and how that works. Well, I have a dear friend in, in, in town uh, in Birmingham named Steve Pennington, and he's Santa's official agent, has mm -hmm. been for about 38 years now. <laughs> but uh, there is a, a website called myperfectsanta.com MyPerfectSanta.com, which you can go to, and all those clicks for the social media and ways to contact him are there, MyPerfectSanta.com. And then on Facebook, there's several ways to find me. I've known most often as the Singing Santa Claus around Birmingham when I come to town. So there are uh, Singing Santa Claus that you can find on the web by Googling that, and Santa Singalongs is what we actually call what I do personally uh, when, when I'm going out. So there is a... Uh, a Facebook page called Santa Singalongs. Well, Santa, I know it's a busy time of year, and we do appreciate you hanging out with us. Right. And he he mentioned the singing, so he's actually going to sing us into the break. So I'm going to let him get ready. I don't sing, so I'm going to step out of the way, and I'm going to let him him sing us. We wish we had a little of that snow going. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. The dozen show signs of stopping. And I brought along some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in that storm. 
But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbying. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Time for a dance break. You can dance along with Santa. Check out Locate Santa there at Facebook. You'll find out where I'm going to be. You can come dance and sing, and even I'll play the piano for you. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in that storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbying. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Ho, 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 from the festival tribute.